Hey everybody, Custom Mike's here again. We are actually standing outside the Hall of Fame autograph section, but I'm waiting for them to get uh, get themselves set up and ready. So we're gonna dive in to this building. How you doing? What's up, brother? Uh, and see some of the cars in here, and you know, let's see if they're ready. Well, we may do. We're gonna do the scale models later, but we'll do a walk around in this building, catch some of the cool stuff. Hey, brother, I saw you. Yeah. What you can get here, and the raw line, my How you doing? All the cool stuff, all the signage. And they're filling two buildings for cars today, or this weekend, so lots of really, really sweet stuff to see. And yes, we are at the West Coast Customs Cruise International. I think it's the 43rd, if I have it correctly. Yeah, if I'm wrong, tell me in the comments, please. <laughs> Thank you for your service. Um, and uh, it's in uh, Santa Maria Fair Park. Lee Pratt's little wagon. Very, very uh, influential wagon on my, on me anyway. So, um, a lot of the cars, a lot of people here have been hugely influential in my life. And I'm very grateful to all the people that, that have been part of my experience. And actually, what's actually brought me into this world, so to say. And then we got a Lyra car. Oh yeah. <laughs> I even used to have one of those in my house. How you doing? Yeah. Got to get an Lyra in the picture, you know. <laughs> yeah, that was uh, that was cool back then. You know, I got the meter too. It's uh, really cool. Um, but uh, back to the cars. You know, there's always a 12-year-old boy in the in the head of most uh, old farts. <laughs> Another one with a T-bird wraparound seat interior. That's uh, really cool, I love that back seat. And we got them in primer, we got them in paint. And you got three different styles right here, hard chop, medium chop, and lift off. Very cool. Yeah, do them whichever way you love. Or you can do them up mild style. Very cleanly done. Very tasteful, good colors. Good colors. Place to be. Yeah, Hudson Light and the Mercury, that's really going to throw people off, you know? So much cool stuff. Got the Barry's family. Got a uh, booth in here. This vendor's an old one. We're gonna do the model show separately. That'll be a separate video. Look at that, and the rack. I want a roof rack like that. And we got my friend here from Cruising News hanging out. Hey there, Mr. Cruising News. 
Mike, how you doing, bud? Good. How are you doing? You know, I'm really well today. Having a lot of fun here at the West Coast uh, <coughs> uh, Custom Show. Um, this is my first time being here today, and I just am amazed at the quality of the build. The I different, know. The different color. I mean, it's just so fantastic. The different styles. I mean, you got three different Mercs chopped three different ways, right. and one of them being a liftoff. Right. Right. I know. Pretty crazy. No, huh? it's nuts. And then. One thing that's kind of cool is um, my friend Randy from Sacramento has his Merc sitting right over there, and he was kind of like talking to him, so he was like holding his head down. He said, "Yeah, my buddies are giving me a hard time because I wrapped it. I wrapped uh, dude, I wrapped that thing my is car. cool. I'm like, are you kidding, Randy? Yeah. He, so he had one of his buddies come by with a pinstripe and cover up one of the seams. Yeah. And it just looks great. And I mean, here's the thing: you can spend 20, 30. 40 grand on a paint job mm -hmm. the wraps 3500 bucks four yep. grand yep. and and you can change the color next year yeah and, and you can print all kinds of graphics and right. stuff on it right right and then change it every year i mean you, you can change it 10 times right for the for the amount of money that you get one paint job once yep. and hey uh you know guys who put paint down are artists there's no yeah question about no absolutely it. and so, the material and yep. You know, yep. AQMD and EPA have right. ruined the cost right. factor. That's and right. That's, that's right. where the wrap has come and stepped in. Well, what's, what's cool about that and what's cool about the show is that there's so much stuff here. Yeah. And there's so many different varieties. Uh, I think they limit the, the, the vehicles to 65 and older. Um, but in that context, I'm sorry, this is this place is just flat out the kitchen. Yeah, this thing is off the hook today. It it really Cruise is. was spectacular. When I arrived on Thursday afternoon, right. the parking lot at Santa Maria Inn was so full, I thought it was Friday. Right. I'm like, did I come up on the wrong day? Right, right. <laughs> Normally right. it's half full and it was already packed, yeah, you know, fighting for parking spaces. And the cruise and... last night was off the hook. Yep. I mean, yep. it was just nuts. It, this is a great event. I mean, if you haven't been, like I haven't, this is my first year. Yeah, uh, overwhelming. Come, it, it is. There's a lot to take in, but come next year because you will not be disappointed. Yeah. Will not be disappointed. They could get some of these clocks from you, too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This, uh, so, so or not clocks. Uh, yeah, neon. The neon. neon signs. So yeah. I went to SEMA last year, and I bumped into this guy. He had a, a booth that was 20 by 20 by 20 tall, and there were probably... 300 signs there. Wow. I couldn't believe it. Yeah, I, was, yeah, yeah. I was just amazed at how captivating they were, right? Yeah, and, yeah. and he's got some really big ones and some grills and stuff. Yeah. So I talked to him and said, listen, uh, I go to these shows and it's a little bit of extra time setting up and tearing down, but it might be the difference between uh, between breaking even, selling subscriptions to the Cruiser News, and, yeah. and selling some signs. What's the range of what's hanging here, roughly? So these are roughly 500, 250 to 500 bucks. Yeah. The thing that's great about these signs is that they make people happy. Yeah. Right. They yeah. they they put them in their garage. They, the the light bounces off the paint. Yeah. And there's this feeling of contentment that is just hard to beat. So. Yep. Uh, all right. You know, I'm selling happiness. Mike, it's so it's great good to, to see, see you. you. Keep up the good work, man. It's Thanks for being fun, here. Always fun following you. I think yeah, somebody had a question, so I'll Take get out care. of the way. Yeah, there you go. And actually, well, let's go look at the wrap one. You know, this one's painted, and it's absolutely gorgeous, and it's beautiful, and all those other things. But just like you said, there's a cost factor. And you look at the thing as we walk by it, it is really hard to tell but this one is not painted actually it's really cool inside too and it gives you a different budget perspective and uh you know it's sitting in here with all the other ones and it looks beautiful too and i actually part of my own experiences as i went to shows down in southern california i noticed this one truck that had the the pearl paint job that flips four different ways that they have on the Cobras and Shelby's and stuff. Uh, and the reality is, is that I filmed it like four or five times without realizing that it was actually a wrap. And uh, that just boggled my mind. The guy that did the wrap did a really, really good job and uh, really got me fooled. So how you doing? So we'll do the scale model thing in a little bit here, but this is uh, off the hook. So what we're going to do is go and film the, the Hall of Fame uh, autograph section, and I'll be probably on the next video.
Love you all. Thanks for supporting Custom Mike's. You're very welcome, Mike. Thank you so much. Thank you for everything you do. You <laughs> yeah, you, you're double shooting in. <laughs> all right. See ya.